What is the internet Dan here? Uh, really quick before we get to the video. This is a really quick video that, not quick, it's about 20 minutes or so long, however long it is in the timeline you see down below. Um, I did a video with Polygames, a friend of mine, Joseph. Uh, I'll leave the description for him for everything down below uh, on the Resident Evil series because he has not played any of it. This is the raw footage of it. Now, we had an issue with uh, getting everything situated and we had an issue with or I'm at least having an issue in post on the audio. So you're going to hear that the audio is going to sound a little bit off because of uh, just just the software fucked up. Something fucked up somewhere. So this is this is the video. This is the raw video because it was a good video. I wanted to show get it out there to show you guys it. Uh, so don't be alarmed if you're if you think that it sounds off. It's just unfortunately just how the audio capture happened. So, unfortunately, I can't do much about it. I'm going to try to manage as best as I can to make sure that the audio sounds good for you guys. Uh, please go show Joe some love. Uh, show me some love, too. Leave, subscribe, like the video if you like it. Uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Italian Dan Gaming and Poly Games co-op episode. Co-op episodes. There you go. They're great. Like They're great. Right. So today what we're going to do is I'm a noob at Resident Evil. I just played Resident Evil 7 on the Xbox and played it on the PlayStation 4. You're going to fill me in on things that I may not be aware of because this is my first Resident Evil game, my first entry. Yeah. So I don't know who Chris or Leon is, who they are and why they're important. It I know one has an emo haircut. Leon, right. Leon does, yeah. Leon does. Leon does. But we, we're not playing as any of these characters. But no. the cool thing that Resident Evil 7 does do is it has some little things it takes from the previous games and kind of fills you in along the way. Mm -hmm. So my first question here is, and it's going to be a long one, where does Resident Evil 7 take place? First stupid question. Well, this, this one, this Resident Evil 7 doesn't, it takes place in the same universe as the other ones, mm -hmm. but all but it's only in like this the one section that is Louisiana. It's very yeah, it's very in the, isolated. In the Dole, in the Dole, what is it, Dole Dolly or whatever Dolly, Louisiana, I think it is. The that's that's just where this entire thing takes place. The bigger underlining question for it is where, like, where does this line up in the timeline? Mm -hmm. Is more of the bigger question. Okay. Like the other ones. If we get into any of the history for for all the games, it's going to be Stupid's Guide to, to Resident Evil. Okay. It's literally going to be Mad, Li Mad Libs slash Spark Notes of Resident Evil because right. I don't know all the details, mm -hmm. but there is so much information because it spans over the seven... No, there's there's technically eight main games because it goes Resident Evil 0, 1, 2, 3, right. all the way to 7. So there's technically eight main games. Then there's like four different games that take place at the same time that also pertain to the story then there's other ones that kind of and then there's books and there's like this is it's, it's a, a whole, whole universe. universe so uh, i can assure the audience right now is we're gonna get into support spoiler territory yes. not just in resident evil 7 but yes. the series as a whole yes so um right here we're in louisiana Louisiana. louisiana. We have louisiana. To have a southern draw and uh, Lord, Ethan down. Winters is not a, is not a character you've ever heard of. Really. No, 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 none of none of the characters yeah. in none of the characters in this game except for and this is the one of the bigger spoilers because it's the end of the game is Redfield at the end of the game. Oh wow, we're getting the spoilers. This right is off this is yeah I, I already threw that in there. Yeah. Uh, the oh, that's that's the only hint and the re, and the um the other spoiler the Umbrella Corp logo on the back of the the helicopter, uh -huh. those are the only two hints that make it into, that makes the game the same universe. That's okay. it. That's it. Yeah. Because I, the one thing I, I noticed in Resident Evil 7 was every time they mention a, a, a corporation, mm -hmm. they blank out the name. And they blank out yeah. the name of the agents and like who was involved. It's very like CIA-like. Because it's, if they, then the, my theory of it is they want to keep it where you want to believe that mm. it's umbrella doing it that it's the umbrella corporation they they're the ones that have started literally everything with the zombie apocalypse there mm. the the basic backstory spark notes of it is um someone wanted to in the 60s wanted to help advance human life so he sent his son and a group to 
go and find a way to do that. They found a plant in Africa, okay. which then they use that to make a virus that once ingested, it can, um, it can make you superhuman, basically. Okay. But they also found bioweapon capabilities out of it. So it kind of progressed into the different strands of virus that you see throughout the entire right. the entirety of all the games, the G virus, the T virus, all these other viruses. It all strand came from that plant. Okay. Um, most of the games you're dealing with the T virus. Later on, you're dealing with like C virus, G virus. You're dealing with all these other ones. The that kind of alphabet. Yeah, you're going through the entire alphabet of viruses. Um, by the time you get through all the games and you get to the sixth game, by that point, Umbrella is completely bankrupt. Their, at, their at what point is this? Uh, Resident Evil Six. Five, five-ish. It start. It it's um. Well, before five, they're really bankrupt. But it starts to come to a complete in, like decline where like you don't see them at all. Okay. Almost you just see their name, but they're not really doing anything. So my question with with Umbrella, is is people like is Leon is Chris are they a part of the Umbrella Corp? All right, Chris, you you learn about Chris early. He's in Resident Evil One. He's in the original Resident Evil game. He works for Stars. Stars is a um is a response team for Raccoon City Police Department, which was made by Umbrella. Okay. So their division was created so by Umbrella. By they're funded by Umbrella, but they were meant... Umbrella wanted to use them as, like, the the guinea pigs for the bioweapons. So, like, that's, oh, shit. that's where the first, game, first two games came in. Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1. That's where both... Because both of them were response teams from Stars going to investigate what's going on there which also which also planned as a testing site for for the bioweapons okay now we see that the bakers in this game jumping back to seven yeah they are obviously they're obviously sick they're obviously not right in the head mm -hmm. is the powers that Spoiler alert. <laughs> Evelyn has. Throw, just throw a permanent spoiler alert right here. Yeah. <laughs> just right here. <laughs> um, but um, the the thing that she has, the power, has that been seen before? Because I thought that we, we've seen creatures like the, um, what are they called? Fucking uh, Jack Skeleton motherfuckers. What are they called? Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember what they're Oogie, called. Oogie there, Boogie, the big fat Oogie, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the skinny Oogie Boogies and the fat Oogie Boogies. Um, I thought I've seen them in, like, Revelations. I'm not 100% sure mm -hmm. on that. Um, the, the enemies that are in Resident Evil 7 are definitely not in any of the other games. Okay. Because those enemies, they may be, like, types that yeah. are, like, similar looking to, to them. I remember their names. But they're not. Because in Resident Evil 7, I, that's, that's this is why I put the, the permanent spoiler right here. Yeah. Because this is just literally all spoilers here. You learn near the end of the game, if you took the time to, like, sit and read through literally everything, once you get to the salt mines and you find the area where you can make the serum to kill Evelyn. Yeah. There is literally pages upon pages of just backstory on like what Evelyn is and what this other organization is doing. In those pages, they start specifying what these creatures are and what they were doing to Evelyn to get her to where they they went through. There she's Series E. They went through five other iterations of her before they got to Evelyn. Um, the the creatures are made of a fungus. Mm. So all the other. And literally everything else that happens in Resident Evil is all pertaining to the virus, what the virus has effects on the human body, or what they have been doing to that virus, adding it to other things. Like there's mm. le they added it to leeches, they added it to a parasite, they did all these other things, but never to an actual fungus. So this is now a whole new thing, basically. Okay. Um, so this is a whole new. They're they're like. Fuck viruses. We're going to now do creepy kids. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I like that. Pretty I really much. Did. I thought Evelyn was like a great villain. And like the one thing I, I love about her is when you're in the salt mines and you're reading about her and you're reading the transformation she's going into, mm -hmm. uh, you find out that she isn't a little girl. No. Those are all in your little noggin. Uh -huh. so that's what she wants you to perceive her as. Yeah, because the, the organization, this new organization... They it's want, enough. they want, we're just calling it the organization. That's literally all that we know oh, of them. That's badass. I like that. Okay. The organization. 
they because that's in one of the papers they just called it themselves the organization so we have no idea what they're actually called and or where they came from who they are we have no idea mm -hmm. but hopefully in the dlc that comes out in feb uh not february is it february it's, uh there's one that's coming out in february there is okay hopefully we get more information then and then that. for you playstation folks you get something in the spring with redfield for yeah free. Yeah, yeah, that I remember. So, um, but regardless of that, the in the papers that you see, um, I'm sure there's probably other hints somewhere that I may have missed. I only did one solid playthrough, and I've watched other people kind of go through the same areas just to see if I missed anything, if there was any important information that yeah. I missed. But basically, she was created as a bioweapon. That was the whole idea because after the fall of Umbrella. Once the T-Virus and all the other iterations of the viruses went out on the black market. So, honestly, the world was probably better with Umbrella than without. Because once they went bankrupt, literally everything went on the black market. Mm. That's when bioterrorism became a thing. Okay. So, this new organization probably got a version of the one of the viruses mm. and decided to use it to create Evelyn. They went through the different iterations of her to get to the perfected version, which is her. They picked the little girl version so that it's easier to envelop her into normal life. Because mm -hmm. you see a little girl walking down the street, you're not going to bat two eyes. Right. So, uh-oh. Uh -oh. How unprofessional, Joseph. Oh, man, I didn't want to edit a goddamn thing. <laughs> All right. How unprofessional speak, of you. Speak to me. Speak to me. Uh, <laughs> it's easy for a little girl to go out it's and e laugh. And it's just... easier for a little girl to go out I'm into... A Exactly. It's much easier for a little girl to go down the street, whether it's in a refugee camp or in, an, in a hostile environment. It's easier for a little girl to go through rather than um, an adult of some sort. Okay. But the, the idea for her was she has the ability to, um, to enter, to, it's kind of like mind control. She's able to envelop in your mind and brainwash you, which is why, you know, when you see her in her little girl form, she's not actually there, which is why later on in the game, when you're, fighting Mia back in the house like in the beginning of the game she's not actually there you're able to walk right through her because she's not actually there it's all an illusion in your head mm -hmm. which brings up another point which we'll get to in a minute but the the point is the she was meant as a bioweapon to help this organization get to wherever they needed to go which is we have no idea where the theories out there are really interesting though at this point, there's a good theory out there. I have it here. I can read it to you. I found it on Reddit. Where's my Reddit page? Hang on. We're, ru we're ruining the illusion of that is this podcast. I'm not even a podcast. This is just a video that we're going to upload. Uh, this one. Okay. So, off of Reddit, uh, basically, a lot of what people, what this guy is saying, and I, I agree with about 95%. I want to say I'm like 95% convinced that this is actually a thing. Um, Ethan, when you, cause we, cause we learned Mia is a part of this organization because she lies to Ethan and says, I'm going to be babysitting Go my girlfriend. Ba basically <laughs> she never actually lied. If you really right. think about it, she said, I have a babysitting job. I have to go babysit out of the country. She technically didn't lie. Yeah. She didn't specify well, like, she, who she was babysitting. Yeah, like, who are you, why are you leaving the country to do a babysitting gig? <laughs> the second that someone tells me I'm leaving the country to go babysit, I'm going to be like, all right, taken, what are you actually doing? That's a taken scenario. Come on. But, yeah. so, regardless, so obviously she works for this, this organization, whatever this new organization is. Ethan, the, the theory is that Ethan works for this new Umbrella company. That's the theory, because okay. in the beginning of the game, he makes a random phone call saying that he found Mia. This could be to, like, just an undercover way of just, like, him calling the organization oh, to wow. say, to say, we're in, I'm in Louisiana going to get Mia. Because could I'm be like, just uh, like, if you don't I hear from me. I thought that was your buddy. Like, I'm like, dude, it, it would was, you yeah. bring a friend? Or like, this was family. Why are you calling them now? It's the, not even, it's, it's the, he, because the guy was like, you just disappeared the other day. Yeah. But the... The way that Ethan was saying, he's like, I found Mia. He was very calm about it. Not like, I found her. I found her. Go get people to come and help me look for her. Like, we found her. Like, you'd be more excited to find your wife. Yeah. Wouldn't you after three years? Three Shit. years is a long-ass time to lose your wife. Shit. So there's that. Later in the game, not even later, like a, literally maybe ten minutes into the game, when you're into the house, mm -hmm. everything that's happening 
you don't hear him express all that much. Put yeah. yourself put yourself in that situation. When, when you you, see... you don't have any military training, you don't have any sort of training. You just you. You're going there to get your wife. You Not get even... stuck in that situation. Not even you that. Know? When I see the 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 wheel of horse leg death. I'm not crawling under. You're not walking underneath there. I'm going back to my fucking Camaro, and I'm driving the fuck around. Yeah, and I'm going to get police help. I'm, yeah. calling, I'm getting the cops I'm help. Not I'm, like, not, oh I'm not dragging myself through that by myself. That yeah. That's that's the other bit. Later, when you get into, like, you know, he loses his arm, and, like, all this other stuff is happening, he has no expression. Like, he's been through this before, or he's been trained to go through this before. Not he's just that, but, this. like, when you see an old lady turn into a, a spider... Like yeah. creature. At that point, I'm putting a bullet in uh, my face. <laughs> I'm uh, not dealing I with would, it. I've I would, seen I everything. Think, <laughs> I think his his exact words were, "Well, I've never seen that before." Or something yeah, like that. He, like, like he he's like, "Well, that's special." Yeah, like, like, that's <laughs> special. Like this what? Is, what? <laughs> this How can you react that Wednesday? way? Like, How can you react that way when if you if you've never seen this yeah, before? Yeah. That that that's where I'm kind of torn. And then later, that's a, that's the, the, put the the cherry on top at the end. When you get when Umbrella shows up, Redfield shows up. It's hinted that that everyone's thinking that this is Chris, but this is another theory that it may not be. But um, it's he responds to Umbrella showing up, going, "What took you so long?" In the most calm demeanor possible, not even yeah. panicked. Yeah, that makes a lot. Not of sense. Not even panicked. Like, what took you guys so long? Or even when the radio when he heard umbrella was there when he was talk to the radio and be like guys i'm here i need help please please help me like didn't even respond. even when he's talking to the cop yeah and i'm like it's funny that like the white guy's trying to talk the black cop down and not shooting him yeah it's like, <laughs> we get it that's a good plan yeah, yeah. all lives good matter. job capcom and i'm I way to like... be topical <laughs> this is i'm gonna block this because it's not sponsored ah whatever um, and, and I thought we were going to have a Carl Winslow situation like Die Hard 1. Or he was gonna be our <laughs> that would have been amazing. Right? Oh, my God. But instead, he gets shoveled in the back of the head. Oh, um, God, that was brutal. So, let me see. Let me see. That escalated really quickly, too, really by the way. That I didn't quickly. see that guy die that fast. No, I anticipated it being like, okay, he's, you know, you explain to him what's going on, and then he's like, okay, I'll go get help. And he leaves, and then you stay, and then later you find his body. Like, that's what I was anticipating was going to happen. Not a shovel to the... Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't anticipating that at all. And now the Bakers, like I said, we, we, we've never seen them before. They're, they're brand new. They're... Yeah. Yeah. Poor people. Yeah, because the, the point of the Bakers, which, from the story just of the game, I'm sure we're going to get more information with the DLCs coming up, but at this point, the, the story behind the Bakers is they were just a normal family. Mm-hmm. They were just a normal family living on a, planta- on a plantation fee- field doing whatever the fuck they would normally do, living life as a Louisiana family, whatever it is. Um, but once the tanker exploded three years ago, this was three years, um, no, probably about four, really. She was missing for three years. So I'm sure mm-hmm. she was gone for a few months, so probably about four years, if you really think about it. Okay. Because um, on the tanker, they said they were at sea for about a year. So maybe about three. We'll, we'll, say, we'll stick to three because that's the number we know. Um, the tanker exploded. And it, and it washed up in their swamp, which I call bullshit, because why would a tanker be going through a fucking swamp? Regardless. Regardless. Poor logic. Yes. Um, once the tanker exploded, <clears throat> and everyone died, Mia was Mia and Evelyn were the only ones left, because Evelyn took over Mia's body. Um, they The bakers found them, and brought them onto the onto their plantation which then me which then evelyn did her thing to envelop herself in the family to be like we're supposed to be here which turned jack uh and everyone into the freaky monsters that they are jack is joe jack it was jack um jack Jack, lucas i call her granny Marg- Marguerite. Marguerite. Paul Marguerite. Marguerite. Shim. Go, Marguerite. This wasn't her intention to turn into a creepy spider with a webbing vagina. Oh, she was no. She was fun. <laughs> Marguerite's but, a good time. Yeah, Marguerite was Mar- Marguerite was probably one of the better boss fights. Um, Yeah. Uh, in, in that entire game. The boss <laughs> fights were their own entity. They were their yeah. own source of problems. Um, the, my one question, and let me, let me, you say it while I think about it, because it just, okay. God, God but me. the, 
because because you learn from Lucas mm. what happened because Lucas tells you exactly what happened. Like they found they found her, they brought her in. Mia was fucking crazy, so they locked Mia up downstairs. But Evelyn, you know, wanted the family, so she she wanted the family as her family, not as like okay, I'm doing this for the weapon. No, she wanted a family. That's just what she wanted because the way that Evelyn was made, they injected her with stuff at the end of the pregnancy. Or at the end of like her growth in, in as a fetus, so they injected her with whatever with whatever the fuck science they injected her with science and they gave and they gave her powers, um, but she never had an actual family. Right. So and she looks as as to Mia as a mom because that's all she's ever had. Ruining it, ruining it. Sorry. So she yes. looks she looks at me like like her mom. Cause yeah, because she's kind of imprinted herself on. That. Yeah, but that's kind of what she does. She will. Um, what's the word? Anytime that she, like, would envelop a new person, she would immediately be like, you're my mommy, you're my daddy. Because it's, when a little girl comes up to you and it's like, mommy, you're immediately just like, my heart is melting! Like, you're, <laughs> it's like, immediate. Yeah. But the... That is fucking broad. It is. She is fucking nuts, though. Mm-hmm. I don't want to... Mm-hmm. Babysitter. Oh, no, shit. I you're don't. not gonna be my daddy. You gonna die. Yeah, I'm well, good. If you, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. your daddy. I'm okay. your daddy. Yeah, no. As you hug him. Um, and Zoe, what happened to Zoe before before we end end the show? All right, because there's two alternate endings to the game. First, good ending. Good ending is you get you give the serum to me to Mia, the one that you've I'm sure done. And, Everybody and everyone. Like, that's that's yeah. the first that's the first one that everyone really does. You're there for Mia. You're like, I need to save my wife. Exactly. That's, that's, Not that's this what it is. Broad that I don't know. Yeah, exactly. But um, the you say you save Mia. Zoe stays behind. It's really kind of only hinted at that Zoe just dies, because you see her later with Jack, in the flashback mm-hmm. that she's, she's there. Like, that she's there. So you kind of you kind of have to assume that she dies. Mm-hmm. You kind of just have to assume. that. Um, the other ending, which is, shut up, um, <laughs> phone under my leg, it's fine. <laughs> um, the other ending is, you give it to Zoe, mm-hmm. you leave Mia behind, obviously she's fucking bent out of shape about it, you and Zoe leave, the same path down that you go to the ship, to the tanker, um, basically the same thing happens where you get knocked off the boat and then you end up on the tanker. But before that, Evelyn takes over Zoe for the last time and just axes her off. So you don't even get to escape with Zoe. Zoe dies no matter what. Mm. But the where it gets interesting at that point. But I wanted a meth like girlfriend. I know, right? But you kind of like I wanted that get, southern draw. <laughs> like I, God, it's, they kind of had this like I don't know in the game like the the fuck me vibes are being given. Yeah. Between you and Zoe, I'm like, yeah. why? I, I, I they were trying to make it, I guess, so that, you know, you don't know. I guess the idea of it was to give you that option for you don't know what's going on with Mia. You're never 100% sure. So, so it's maybe like, here's, a here's, here's someone else that you can get away with. Mm-hmm. Because, obviously, this random shit is happening with your wife. You don't want to bring her along. Just, God forbid, she does snap again. Baggage. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you leave her Wait, behind. Man, right? Which is the point of the game to get there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but... um. But what's interesting is later Mia comes back. Remember when you get trapped in the wall in that like oh, boy, in that in that remember. that wall thing? Um, Mia comes back and then you have to fight Mia for the last time and you kill her there. Okay. So then Mia doesn't make it to the end at all at that point. If you choose Zoe's side, Mia does not make it. But that's another achievement. So if you want that achievement, then that's what you gotta do. But the she does not make it to the end, which then um, Ethan in his last monologue kind of just says he's he's moved on like because i guess that's oh that's when you move on well eh? probably when the the point when you have the life saving serum and you're looking at two women and you go fuck my wife (laughs) that's the point when you said you moved on (laughs) that's when you moved on that choice is no grudge will make you do that that's the oh doggy 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 no (laughs) that's like my dog when it happens, maybe Henry's here. So, uh, we'll just we'll we'll, do, we'll we'll have to deal with the dog bark. Probably, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, just me, you've seen, I'm sure it's happened in my videos a lot. Three, two. 
So the dog has decided that he wants to end the video. He's mad about all the spoilers that we've been giving out. But if you want more of this, then please like, share this video. Uh, like Italian Dan's channel right here. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to me, Senor Poly Games. Just Poly Games. Poly Games if an I. Whosever channel this pops up on, it's going to be one or the other. We'll leave links to the other yeah. down below. So if you liked it, good for you. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Leave a comment. What, what did you think about uh, Res 7? Did you like it? Did you love it? Are you new to the series? What are some questions you want answered? And then my friend over here will answer them I'll for do, you. I'll do my best to answer. If you see, if you have any questions on what goes on, if you want to see see a video on the actual, you know, story of what goes on, I'll be happy to make a stupid guide. That'll be oh fun. That would, that would be interesting to do for me. But uh, yeah, that's it. Take care.